Jason Rosidlo reporting from the 2011 SAE World Congress, and I'm being joined by uh, Kevin Folk from LG Chem Power Inc. I'm a sales manager there. So uh, tell me what's new from LG Chem this year. Well, we have an energy, you know, home energy management system, you know, like shown here. You know, this is a residential energy storage unit that has lithium-ion batteries similar to those, you know, in the Chevy Volt. But in addition to storing energy, this provides a complete system for managing your home energy use. You know, so you're able to uh, plug in your you know, rooftop solar PV array. You're able to control all of your smart appliances, you know, like you know, washers, dryers, you know, refrigerators. You know, so you have backup power capability as well. So this is something for like when the power goes out then? It, it can be. You know, that one of the features is backup power, you know, but I think it's it's really much broader than that. You know, the system actually provides a lot of capabilities that go beyond any you know, products that are available right now. Now, could you also use it to charge like the Chevy Volt, for example? Uh, not. It's really more focused on home energy use, not necessarily for EV charging you know, right now. So uh, tell me uh, a little bit more about this. You know, what's inside there? What's, you know? Sure. Yeah, it's uh, as, as I mentioned, it has you know lithium-ion polymer batteries like those found in the Chevy Volt, and it has all of the power conditioning equipment as well. You know, so you have you know the inverter you know for converting the solar you know power and the battery power into usable household electricity, and you know you have also the conversions you know needed going from the electric grid you know to the battery in order to enable it to be charged. Now we got the two different uh, models here. What's the difference between these two? Uh, the, the main difference right now is the the energy and also the area of deployment. You know this this larger unit here is one that's you know similar to what we'll be deploying with uh, Southern California Edison, and you know that provides four kilowatts of power and ten kilowatt hours of energy. You know the smaller unit is being deployed on Jeju Island in South Korea as for the Jeju Island smart grid test bed and it will provide you know, two kilowatts of power with five kilowatt hours of energy. Is there a price on these right now? Uh, right now we're still you know working on that you know in terms of a target price and you know, we do have you know some some ranges in mind you know but because of the uh, you know development stage that we're at you know we're not releasing any pricing information at this time. But you're saying this is residential it's not commercial? It, it could be commercial as well, but our, our focus is you know, to make it into you know, a residential product that can be used by you know, consumers you know, for, for their houses. Uh, let me see, so what would this display do? I know it's not working right now, but what would it do when it does work? Yeah, this is a, you know, a sample touch screen. You know, this is what we call the, you know, the residential you know, control hub. And what, what it does is it enables you to you know, control the system uh, you know, with a touchscreen interface, you know, so you, you'll actually be able to see, you know, the, you know, the power level that the system's running at, you know, the energy that it's provided, you know, how much energy is remaining. Uh, you'll also be able to access this same information through your computer as well. You know, so if you, you know, if you want to interact with the touchscreen, you can. Uh, if you want to, you know, do it through your computer, you know, or a phone application, eventually, you know, you could do that as well. So, uh, what else is you got on display here this year? Oh, well, we also have samples of some of the the cells and modules, you know, that are, you know, that are in these units, you know, both for residential, you know, and for transportation, you know, applications. You know, we have an example of a, you know, of a commercial vehicle pack, you know, that provides about you know five kilowatt hours, you know, worth of energy. So, uh, how has the Congress been this year? Well, it's been really good. I think the fact, you know, even though it's an uh, automotive focus, you know, event, we've actually had a lot of interest, you know, in the, you know, in these commercial and, you know, residential energy storage units, you know, including, you know, visits from some utilities as well. So it's, it's been really good so far. Any other comments before we wrap it up? I think, you know, energy storage, you know, plays, you know, a big role, you know, both in, you know, vehicle and also stationary applications. And I think many, Experts actually believe that you know the stationary market you know will become much larger than that of transportation in the near future, and especially as more utilities 
come online, you know, with their energy storage systems. Right, very good. Thank you. Okay. Nice speaking with you today.